Happy Monday, everybody. It's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo, and the Creative Photo Academy. It's another awesome day to be creative. So what are we doing tonight? So my wife got these beautiful cobalt blue water glasses, and I've always been intrigued by the color. I think it's an amazing color. And if I wanted to photograph one of these glasses, what can I do? I could take the glass, put it in the middle of the table, pour some water in it, let it get all sweaty, get the water dripping off of it, put it under a strong light so you've got the light coming through it. But I was thinking more about what I love are the shapes of the glasses and this beautiful cobalt blue color. So what I want you to look at, take a look at the scene here. We're just using the regular house light here in the dining room. And now we're going to transform it. So you can see I've got one of the aperture AW lights coming up through the bottom here. I have one of my black Pulse Photo shirts just to block that light from getting to the lens. I've got one of the Lytra Pros with the barn doors and a blue filter to put some blue on the background. And one of the Lytra Pros here on the side bringing a side light. See how that's lighting the rims of the glasses? So to really see the effect of it, I'm going to turn out the house lights and take a look. Ooh, here in the portrait perspective and in vertical, right, I can see the beautiful shapes of the glasses. So I'm aperture priority. I'm going to open the lens to 2.8. Got to put my glasses on to see this so I can focus. Yep, I've got focus peaking and it's focus peaked right there. I'm going to shoot. Now I'm going to stop down to f8. And I'm going to shoot another one. And I'm going to show you the difference. So there's f8. There's 2.8. Look at that, right? What do I like better? I like the 2.8 aperture better. But what I also like is I'm liking the shapes of the tops of the glasses. So I'm thinking that if I turn the camera to landscape, I'm able to capture that shape better. I'm going to raise up the image. Oh, look at that. Look what that just did, right? So here I've got some beautiful shapes here. I'm going to refocus, get right here on the front of the glass in focus. I'm going to move my focus point right there. Right, right there. You can see the focus peaking in red, yeah, right? I'm going to touch shoot there. All right, I'm going to turn the information back on. That was at f8. And now it's f2.8. Let's see what that looks like. f2.8, f8, look at that. You know what would be kind of cool? What happens if we could combine those in the same picture? So what am I going to do? One of the cool features that our mirrorless cameras have is we have multiple exposure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on multiple exposure. And now I'm going to take two pictures. One at f-stop 2.8. One at f-8. And what the camera is going to do, it's going to overlay those two pictures together. So that here is both the 2.8 and the f8 exposures together. So I've got a little bit more focus, but I've got that beautiful out of focus scene. How cool is that, right? So what have I done? I've had a vision of what I wanted the picture to look like. I've used the technology in my camera to give me the image that I want. That's being creative. Check and see if your camera has multiple exposure. If it doesn't, I know where you can get a camera that has multiple exposure. Come on down to Paul's Photo. Sign up for a class at Creative Photo Academy. We'll get you taken care of when you shoot some film. Get it printed at the lab at Paul's Photo. We're having a lot of fun, and we're being creative, and we want to share it with you. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow for our next episode of Be Creative.